Hi, my name is Anissa Ramirez. Welcome to my lab at Yale University. Today I'd like to talk to you about the weird materials that we use in space, in robots, and in your mouth. I'm talking about shape memory alloys. These are metals with a memory. In order to understand how these materials work, we've got to talk about organizing. Atoms organize. Sometimes they're in rows, sometimes they're diagonally from each other. Here's a set of books to demonstrate my point, where the dots represent atoms. Right now, they're organized one way. However, with a small shift, I can push the top of these books, and now the atoms are organized a different way. Atoms organize just like we organize ourselves. Sometimes they're in rows, sort of like airplane seats, and that's one phase. And sometimes they're slightly diagonal from each other, sort of like stadium seats or in the movie theater, and that's another phase. And then they can move from one phase to another quite seamlessly, and we call this a phase change. You may be familiar with phases. When you think about water, there's the liquid, solid, and gas phase. Well, in this case, we're talking about two phases, but they're both solid. And the motivation to move from one phase to the other is as fundamental as fire. Phase changes occur with heat. Let's look at a phase change in action. Here I have a piece of shape memory wire. It's made out of nickel titanium, and here's my lighter. What I'm going to do is wrap this around my finger, I'm going to heat it with my lighter, and I want you to observe what happens when I do. So watch this. Here it is wrapped around. Wow, that's amazing. That's so amazing, let's do it again. Not only is it amazing, it's kind of weird, because metals don't do that. Here I have a paper clip. If I were to heat that up, I'd get nothing. What we just observed in the wire was a phase change that we can see. When the wire was cold, it was actually in this configuration, sort of like stadium seats, diagonal from each other. This is called monoclinic. When the atoms are in the wire and the wire is hot, they're arranged in this configuration, sort of like airplane seating. We call this cubic. And the atoms can shift from one to the other with heating and cooling, and they can do this forever. Now, where are these materials used? Well, tonight, when you look into the sky, shape memory alloys are at work. They're on Mars. They're used in the Mars rover, and they're used to move the cover for the solar panels. Back on Earth, they're used to open up clogged arteries as stents. They're also used to move robots. Also, they're used to move teeth in braces. See, when it comes to shape memory alloys, I'm pretty committed. So as you can see, the small shift that atoms make can give rise to huge changes. And by understanding the way that they behave, we can make materials that make the world a better place. I'm Anissa Ramirez. Thank you for joining me in my lab at Yale University. And I hope that you'll join us for another material marvel.